I'm Todd from Apex Space. Today I'd like to talk to you about a takeaway system for static line. Takeaway system is a system in which involves this device or a device like this where you can hook this to the object and now this will actually come with the jumper after the jump or actually during the jump. What it does is it gives us the ability to leave a clean object behind. Normally a static line would require a, some rigging on the object so that we can attach our brake cord. This can be difficult on some objects and some objects we just don't want to leave any pieces behind. So a takeaway system gives us the ability to get a brake cord system, static line system, and be able to take the actual device that we're going to be tying to with us during the jump. There's a couple safety uh, functions of this in case this takeaway system were to get wedged on the object. There is an override which would break so that this would stay behind if it got stuck. But in the normal operation, we'll actually end up taking this entire system with us. It's going to start with a standard nine foot bridle. But first I need to find the halfway point. Once I have found that halfway point, I will tie a simple overhand knot. This will be one of the locations that we're going to tie our brake cord. It's going to be the primary location. Before we start doing that, we're going to move to the end of the bridle, the base of the pilot chute. This is where we're going to tie in the override. This override gives us the ability to release the takeaway system if it gets hung up. We don't want to get stuck on the object. Just in case our takeaway system gets stuck or wedged into the object somehow. We want to make sure that we can leave this behind if necessary. Primary objective is to bring it with us, but this is an override just in case. We'll go through the end of the bridle and the override and do the standard rigger's knot. We do a double, get it snug with a square locking on top, a square knot that locks it off. Now this one, if everything goes the way we want, will still be attached when you land. Okay. Once that portion is done, we'll work our way back to the halfway point and the two red ends. This is where we're going to put our next piece of brake cord. Take a piece of brake cord through the bridle and both pieces of the takeaway system. And again, use a double with a square locking on top of the double. There's our rigger's knot. There's pretty much a completed system. We've got the takeaway system, we've got the primary brake, and then we have the override in case any of this gets wedged. To help with staging, we're going to add one more piece of brake cord. What we're going to do is we're going to come back to the bridle end where the override is attached and both red ends. Get some of that stuff out of the way so we can see it. I'm going to put a third piece of brake cord. So again, we'll use both red ends and the end of the bridle. Some people might think this is kind of a backup, okay? But it's also a staging element. We want the pilot chute to stay put after that first uh, brake cord goes. What it's gonna do is it's gonna allow the bridle to go full extension, keep the pilot chute up and out of the way, not dangling around the object, until that last four feet of slack is gone. And then we'll tie it off like we normally do. Started with a double and then a square knot on top. So now what we have is this will go around the object. The first piece of brake cord will be at the halfway point. Once that one goes, we'll go to the second, which is at the end of the bridle, and then the entire takeaway system should come with us. For some reason, the takeaway system gets hung up. We have a release 
on that white safety override piece. This takeaway system is designed to have all of the rigging done in a controlled environment, in the packing area, be home in your living room, wherever. So all of that should be done before you ever get to the object. Once you get to your object, you're going to need to open this loop, and that's where this connector link comes in. We'll open the connector link, free the line, and take it around the object. Now depending on the size of the object, or the rail, or whatever you're attaching to, you may need different size loops here, and they are available in different sizes from Apex Base. Close the connector link around uh, whatever your secure point. Make sure it's a nice solid secure point and that should be all the rigging that's required at the exit point. You shouldn't have to go through and tie any more of the brake cord. All right. Make sure you check out our video uh, that covers more static line information and uh, we'll see you at the exit point.